There you go. Okay, so we're on Lama Tesla Aleph. Uh, uh, review the point of Ramayim, right? Three lines down from the top, right? That's what we left. Yeah, so Rabbi Yehuda said that Mayim, Mayim, if you just give water, and uh, we said we were discussing Friday, that was the whole complicated, uh, whole complicated din of if a woman borrows water, salt, and spices to put into the chala, so the chala only has to go with the the chala has to go with the uh, um, the tchum of both people. All right, so we said three reasons why it's not bottle. Rabbi Yudas says that by water, that if the woman just borrowed water and put it into the dough, then water is not recognizable. Right, which Rabbi Aaron, you were asking, what do you mean water? How can you say water is not recognizable? Like right? Aaron Zawag, I think, was also saying. How can you make challah without water? Right? So Rabbi Yehuda holds water is nothing. Okay, so Gemara asks, Mayim in Melach Lois. Sounds like water, yes. Salt, not. Patanya Rabbi Yehuda, Mayim in Melach, Patelin, Bain, Beisa, Bain, Bekadera. Water and salt is bottle, whether it's in dough, whether it's in Kadera, in a pot, meaning whether it's in cooked food. Right? A pot means it's, it's food, not, not uh, baked. So you see that uh, that he holds that even salt is bottle. My answer is like Kasha, Abba Melech Stoimis, Abba Melech Astroikis. One is talking about Sedimis, which is the Melech that we're worried about. That's what you have to wash my Machreinim. Right? So therefore, um, that's, that's, that's like water. So it's meaning it's not so strong. So therefore, it's, it, would be, it would be bottle. Abba Melech Astroikis, but Astroikis is a very is a very, I don't know if it means stronger. Um, it's, it's thicker. It's a thicker salt. Maybe like sea salt? Could it be like the difference between like regular salt and sea salt? Right? I don't know. But whatever it is, it's so, it's so thick that you can't say it's bottle. So that type of salt is not bottle. My melech is bottle in dough, but it's not bottle in a, in a cooked food because of, because of the right div, because of the liquid, meaning you, when you put salt into the liquid, so then that's, that's hard to say that that's bottle. And before we said that mayim and melech is bottle, even in a, in a pot, so we say, lekasha, haba ava, haba racha. One is talking about thick and one is talking about thin. So if it's a thick chalent, right? If it's a thick chalent, so then, so then it's uh, it's not going to be so recognizable. Therefore, it will be bottle, and there's no tchumish. But if it's a, if it's thin, then it's uh, then it's it's what do you call it? It's 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 what do you, how do you say it? Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, but when it's a thin food, like a thin shalant, so then. The salt is not is recognizable, and therefore you're not going to. It's not going to be bottle, right? Fine. Okay. So that's the, basically you have to know what how basically what the Gemara's maskan is coming out with the corner of Yehuda. It depends on how thick the the thick the skin is. Hold on. One of the guys by Elvis is one of the guys. I told the guys that if I over the bottom after they're done learning with the kids, they can come and we can do the job in person. But <coughs> I left it with smetters, so I don't know what I am. Okay, so talk to Mishnah about the Hagacheles, Kiraglia Balim, the Shalheves, the Homokam, a coals. Are like the the ragli of Bailam. And a shalheves is the Makam. Yeah, meaning you have the difference between a coal and a flame. Right? So a coal, that's that only gets to be like whatever the, the owner, the owner of it, meaning whoever owns a coal. So if somebody borrows a coal from his friend, it only gets to go as far as the person's coal. The shalheves. 
the Chol Makom and the Shalheves, then right in the flame can go uh, can go anywhere because the Shalheves really is nothing. There's nothing to it. There's nothing tangible about it. Yeah. So Gachel is Shal Hektish Ba. If you use a flame that belongs to the Hektish and you get Hanaf from it, so then you are Chayiv for Meila. Yeah. The Shalheves Loy Nen and Veloy Meilin. I mean that's a coal, but a shall have us, but a but a flame light and then you're not allowed to get enough from it. But if you did get enough from it, you're not over on me. Either. So their flame is like quasi, right? We're saying by the by the tom, the flame is considered nothing. By hectish, the flame is considered something that you shouldn't look at get enough from it. Midrabanon, but if you did do get enough, then you did not get enough. It's not me. Right, and now Maitzik Yechel is the Shusar Rabbim Chayim, and somebody carries a coal to Shusar Rabbim. It's Chayim. The Shalheve is Potter, but a flame, but a flame, it's Potter. Of course, now it's starting to rain. <laughs> oh, <there you> <laughs> okay, we got Langus here. <laughs> That's starting to rain. You don't, you don't have a, you don't have a, you don't have a rain, uh, what do you call it? You don't have an umbrella. If Liner was here, he'd have an umbrella going. That's for sure. <laughs> We're up to the, we just started the Gemara. Sorry, the Mishnah, you started the Gemara. All right. Okay, so carrying a flame to, to Rosh Hashanah is your potter on that. But potter, again, potter means potter of also. Right? You can't carry the flame into Rosh Hashanah. We'll see in the Gemara exactly how, how does one carry a flame without, without carrying also something else with it. Right? Okay, so Zog Gemara. Torah Rabbana, Hamishat Maram Nerebuch Gachelis. Yeah, there's, there's five things that we say by coal. Right, that we said in the Mishnah, the coal goes with the regular of the bylam for the tchum. But a, but a, a flame goes everywhere. Right, a coal of hektish. You're over on the ilu. And a flame that you're not allowed to be nana from it, but you're not over on the ilu either. Asura, we shall have as muteris. You have a coal that's avoid the zara, so the coal you're not allowed to use. Meaning, if they use the coal for avoid the zara, right, or or the avoid the zara got burnt, right, so you're not allowed to use it. But if it is a flame from avoid the zara, we shall have as muteris. A flame is mutter, right. So meaning, if you have an avoid the zara flame, this comes up sometimes. I don't know when. When do people ask about this using candles? I guess you buy candles that have like a, that say they're from Avodah Zarah or something. I don't know. Some stores sometimes sell these cheap, these cheap candles or something like that. The seven day, the seven day candles also make uh, some of them make ones with like um, Yashki's mommy on it, and like oh, yeah. they light, they light, they light like uh, to like saints and things like that. Uh huh. So I guess so. I see that. So the candle itself would be a problem. But just to take the flame from it, let's say somebody lit it, right? Now you need to take a flame from the Avodah Zarah, then that would be okay. That's what the Gemara is saying. Gemara is saying that would be okay. So I can light a cigarette from the Pope's lighter. Avera Guerrero Savera. Zing. Can you light a cigarette from a? Yeah, you can light a cigarette from a flame of the. Yeah, hundred percent. Right. I mean, that's that's what the Gemara is saying. Right, but, yeah, I don't see why not. It's not Shilas. Can you light it from a cigarette of an Avodah Zarah? Can you light a cigarette that would be from a, a cigarette of Avodah Zarah? A chayra, a cigarette would be a gachelis. No? It'd be a coal. A cigarette would be like a coal. It's not. No, we're saying a flame is nothing. The whole point of this whole Gemara, like there's five things that show you that this that flames are are nothing, right? So that's okay. Then Hamaytzi gachelis is just a well, then, hello. Yeah. If you think the flame yeah. is nothing, then how come you can't be um, Nana from the flame on your Hanukkah menorah? That's the light. Are you mean saying, why is that not? It's not going anywhere. It's getting um, How can you not, how come you can't be Nana from a menorah? I uh, hear. But, but isn't that no, that's, he's on he's on um is that that's being, light, that's being nana from the light isn't that being nana from the light but you say you can't light a cigarette, you can't light a cigarette can you rise can you light we, a we don't light from... one fire from the other 
uh, we use the shamus. You're not, it's, it's not even only the light. It's also the flame. Uh, yeah. That's a good kasha. <laughs> so I guess it's a good kasha. I don't know. I don't know, Taka. I hear it. It's almost the Yonah de Yoma, too. Uh, I hear it. I don't know. I'm going to have to look into that. Thank you. That's a good kasha. Um, at least right now, I think it's a good kasha. I don't know the answer. Maybe the answer is so posh that it's not a good kasha. But as of right now, of, if the Oilam doesn't know that it's a good kasha. There's a lot of look from the neighbors. You want to take one neighbor and look as neighbors, Pachlam? No, oh, that's what we're saying. You're not supposed, you shouldn't do that. You can't. That's taka. You know, you're not supposed it, to even there, Shabbos maybe neighbors. It's, maybe you could say by Hanukkah, you could say, uh, you know, it, there's an Indian of law you're Shabbos Yeah, what, what yeah. do you Maybe by Hanukkah, there's a special Indian of law you Right, so there must be an issue. But what should be the issue with lighting them? By the way, it's the same issue with Friday, with, with Friday night candles too, Zeb. Yeah, you can't, uh, if one light goes out, you can't light, you know, well, to take a shamish and light a candle, so some say that's okay, because your whole kavana is to light the other candle. But really the best way to do it would be to take, to pull out the candle. If, if one candle goes out, the woman lights one candle, and then the other one goes out. So the best way to do it would be to pick up the candle and bring it directly to it without using a middleman. Right, it's the same, it's the same, same din. So you're right. If it's just if we're saying fire is nothing, so then why not? I hear. I hear. Um, okay, let's see. Right, I'll look into it another. Thank you. Thank you. So, yeah, and then the last one on the first white line. If you're you make a nether that you're getting not getting her off, from a friend, then it's then it's you're also with the pole, but you're mutter the Shall have it. It, it strengthens your kasha. You made a nether not to benefit from somebody who uses fire. So, uh, yeah. Okay. So, anyone asks, Mashna shall have it. Avoid the Zora the Shari, Mashna the Hector Shasira. How come Avoid the Zora is also? And Hector, I'm sorry, Avoid the Zora is motor and Hector is also. So, hey, this might talk a bit, maybe this is your kasha. Maybe maybe you would say the same thing that, that a Menorah is looked at like Hector. Can you say that? So why, oh, why Friday night? Friday night's also hectic. It's hectic. It's kaidish. It's kaidish. It's, it's not hectic. It's not you. You're not moil if you take something from Friday. Night. Oh, this is that cool. I just gotta bring my kids to you. But um, we're like in the ghetto over here, all sitting outside on the back of a car outside. Because <laughs> upstairs the they use the classroom. Oh, there's nothing to come on. Oh, you want to go to the benches? No, 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 go to the benches. Yeah, we'll go to the benches. <laughs> I, upstairs, I use the classroom. Sorry, sorry for all the technical difficulties. No, but Friday night, Friday night is is uh, is hectic. Oh, well, isn't the same thing as Menorah? Anytime you light candles for for a double shabbat, no. Fr- Friday night, Friday night, you light is for isn't for shalom in your house. So Mustama, you can use it. That's what it's for. Right, but it's but it's a mitzvah. Right, isn't it a mitzvah? Wait, but it's a separate zero that you can't use the light to read the Mashal. Oh, you're talking about that Zayra? No, 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 I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about even if just to use, just to use it. To use what? Just to use, the, it has Kedusha to it. You want to foot bench, lit, lech, and you want to smoke your last cigarette. So you take it to take it to flame off of the off of the what shop is left. That's what he's talking about. So that all increased the shalom by his also. Besides you getting his, a light. That'll increase or decrease? Which way are you going oh, with that's... that? <laughs> Whichever way you want to go. <laughs> you want to increase the shalom by or decrease? Um... If I have my last cigarette, it'll be a good thing. <laughs> Anyway, so I, I think maybe that's what it is. Either way, so what's the so the kasha is? Did I freeze now? You can hear me. You froze, but you seem to be. Can you hear me, or am I freezing up? We hear you. We hear you. Sound great. Okay, thanks. Okay, so I again the second wide line. My shnah shalavas avoid the zara the shari akum the shalavas avoid the zara is mutter. My shnah the hektish does see how come hektish is also. So more answers. Avoid the zara de mi isa ubedili inchi mina. Avoid the zara is disgusting. So people are naturally um, um, not 
they're, they stay, like we said, by Pesach, by Chometz, Kedili and Shemineh. Right, like God's abundance, there's no kizera the rabbanon. Hektish the loy mos, but hektish is not mos. The loy v'dili inchimine. People are not naturally separated from it. God's the bread abundance. They made a kizera that if you're going to allow you to use the flame, then it's going to end up. Uh, it's going to you're going to end up using the coals. What about kizera? Yeah. Um, kizera, kizera, kizera hektish atu. Why don't they make a Xera Atu? Why don't they make a Xera Atu? Because they're saying it's the opposite. They're the exact opposite of each other. You don't need a Xera. They're the exact opposite. The Tysus asks, the second Tysus on the bottom asks, well, Psachim, it sounds like we're bottled from Hektish too. Right? Who's 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 not careful with hektish? You talk, that's a serious sister to be nana from hektish, right? So Tzitzis says there's like a middle ground. When you compare chulin to hektish, then you're separated from it. But but the zara, you're not separated. I mean, this comes comes out according to Tzitzis three levels. There's chulin, which you're mamish that you're used to using. Then there's avoid the zara, which is like the worst. And then there's chulin. There's a uh, hektish, which is somewhere in the middle. So there's three different levels here, right? Fine. Okay. So let's see about. There might be to Rishus Aram Chayiv and Shalheves Potter. If you bring out a Gacheles to Rishus Aram, you Chayiv and the Shalheves, but you carry the 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 light, it's Potter. But Tanya might see Shalheves Kolshu Chayiv. If you take out a Shalheves, the Kolshu, so you Chayiv. So we have a Stira. The Mishnah says you carry a flame out to Rishus Aram on Shabbos, at your potter, and, and we have a prize that says, Amar Rav Sheshu, Gan Sheetziu, Bikisim, so much we took it out with a little uh, chip, a wood chip, right? So if you, you carried it with a chip, so that you chayev, because the chip, so I don't want to you just say, it's chayev because of kisim. You're not chayev for the flame, you're chayev because of the piece of wood that's that's providing the fuel to the flame. To the flame. So with the lesley shiura, there's no it doesn't have the minimum shear, right? We know that when we learned in Shabbos that everything has to have a minimum shear in order to be chayev, which is interesting. Taka, somebody asked me a shaila today. I wasn't sure what uh, what to uh, answer. Well, that's a normal thing, but uh, but uh, I'll tell you. I'll say the show a shaila in a minute. So, but there's no shear. The tana might see eight and the beitz akala. The minimum amount of wood to be chayev for carrying is the is the amount of wood it would take to make a an egg, a light egg. Abaya Amar going to shy from Mona Mishra of Asli Benur. So Abaya has a different shot. What it is is that yeah, he, he you smeared oil on a utensil. Usually we make eggs in water. So here it's you're just lighting the flame. How long does it take? I don't probably not water. too much. When, when you make hot boiled egg, you oh, boil, boil, water, water, boil the water first. So here right. you say you're just lighting the flame and touching, putting it under the egg. Yeah, yeah so I don't know, but whatever wood meant small, a small amount. That's what I would think. No. I mean, I I, I, never, I, I don't make eggs. Shorter than I eat eggs. So well, less, so it takes less time. So it's not that much wood. One little, one little thing of wood is not going to cut it. That's for no. sure. So that's the mamela. That if you carry that out, he's not good. he took a kli and he smeared it with oil and then he lit that. So there's really nothing there. But typically, mishumana. So then, but he carried out the utensil. The utensil had oil on it. So that right, you should be having the utensil. So he says, "Bechas." But talking about chaspa means a um, uh, earthenware that's garbage. Yeah, the table claim mishum chaspa. Okay, so then he should be chay for carrying out the earthenware that's garbage. He said, "But the lecheres they leave him being patzim lechaveri the rebbe." The amount of cheres is the amount of cheres that would have to go in between wood when you when you're piling up wood. You want to make sure it doesn't warp, so you put a little bit of junk in between there so they don't warp against each other. So that would be the minimum amount of cheres, and he has less than that. Right. So then the Gemara says, El potter. Good. So if you say that you're taking it out on cheres, or you're taking it out on a stick, so then somebody who's carrying out a shalavas is potter. So how do you find that you're potter for taking out a shalavas if you have to be carrying it on something? So what answer is going to add you do is just around what you threw the what happens is you take the flame and you I guess you blow it. You take fire and you throw it out into Rishus Sarabim. I don't know any pyromaniacs among among us. How long does that last? I don't think it, I don't think it has to last at all. It doesn't have to last. So what do you fire for? Oh, 
I'm saying when you're chayef, you're saying no, you're part of you that happened. Yeah, if you did that, you, you shouldn't do it, but you're part of it. Right? That would be a case of where you that's where you would be part of it. Right? Yeah. Fine. So a guy asked today if he puts a has nothing to do with this Gemara. I mean it has to do with this Gemara of carrying. If he puts a Listerine strip into his mouth. Is he over on hotel? Is that is he that carrying? Yeah, he doesn't hold it there. Yes. Is that carrying? And gum, gum, gum. So not? just so now I think I'm a brilliant guy. So why I not? gave him, I didn't know the answer. So that, maybe it's not enough. It's not the minimum share. How many? What's the sheer list of each strips? It's not, I know what it is. I have it's a, right. So here's I, I thought I'm a genius. Here it is. I thought I'm a genius. I told him, what's the big deal? It's Wait five day. seconds till it dissolves. And then you then walk out of your house, right? That's when you don't know the answer. You always, right? Then the guy tells you, no, what he does, he has a shtick. He folds it up into a tiny little square and it stays in his mouth for an hour. Ooh. One little Listerine thing? <laughs> that's what he told me. No, that's that he doesn't told me. happen. Just muffins. I'm just Goodness telling you sense. what he said. I, everything, Ooh, I every time you think you got everything figured How out, bad somebody does else smell. Something else <laughs> I, keep, I keep it back in my palace bag. Yeah, yeah, those things okay. last for about five seconds before they melt. Think something else. Okay, so what maybe you should experiment with it. He said he folded it up. He folds it up and it stays for a while. Okay, so then what you said once it's it is. I said I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> I said, if it's gonna last an hour, then the answer So why don't you just that, tell him not to right fold it? Because maybe it's not the sheer of uh but it's something that nobody wants it. He wants it to last him an hour. He wants it to last him an hour. Gum is the problem. Gum? Yeah, if you don't use hater, you can't chew gum. So you can't even if you have saliva in your mouth, not regular saliva, but if you saliva, like you know, saliva, you're saying no, but the, the, the Listerine strip, yes, maybe it's not a sheer yeah, saliva, 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 saliva is a sheer. It could be that it's not a sheer. I'm talking about saliva, talking about like phlegm, phlegm, not saliva, phlegm. Yeah, I don't know, I, I don't know what the sheer I have no idea what to say to that. Okay, fine. Zok the Mishnah Vaikar, bar shall yachid. So a bar of yachid, meaning a bar, where does a bar going, right? I think we figured that part out too. A bar can't be carried. A bar is a hole. That's how do you carry a hole for your tum? So what it means is the water that's in the bar. Right? So you take the water out of the bar, how far can that water go on, on Yomtev? So bar shal yachid, karak yachid. If it's a private person's bar, so you go to your friend's yard and you take water from his bar. So that water can only go as far as your friend can go. Right? And that's it. But let's say it's a public bar, so then it can go for the tchum of that particular city. What's the difference between that and any other thing? What's the chiddush? What's the chiddush? What's the chiddush? What's the chiddush? What's the chiddush of yachid? We said already, so yachid will you right, no, because may, maybe no, because this is different. Because before we we're talking about if you go and borrow my utensil on Yom Tif, so the utensil I get the utensil, that utensil goes with me, with my tchum. But water, maybe water, once maybe water is a separate entity, it's not really mine. I mean, it's in my property, but it's not. I Is it your water or is it not water? It's your water. So then it is your water. So yeah, but maybe it's it water. Maybe it's not really, it's not my utensil. Maybe water. I don't, I'm just thinking on top of my head. I don't know. Saying water is not yours, Mamish. I mean, it's yours, but it's not your utensil. Right? Is it kind of streets on your property? The Chaira. Yes. I would think so. Yeah. That's the water his wife's going to bake the cake with. <laughs> or or lend it to somebody else, right? Yeah. Okay. So anyway, so that's the second case. The third case shall oil bavel karagli amamali. The oil Those are the you know the public. That that's public water along the roads for people that are traveling in bavel. So that the assumption is that that anybody is going to come fill it up whenever they want. So therefore, the water can go with meaning the das from before yomtiv is that whoever comes to fill up the water is going to take it to wherever it is that they have to go. So since that was the das before Yom Div, so therefore, that's, uh, that's, uh, they can go wherever the, the wherever the person take, that take it out. Yeah, fine. So Zog, the Gemara, Rami, Le, Rav, Le, Rav, Nachman, Tanan, Barsha, Yachid, Karag, Le, Yachid. The Bar of a Yachid is Rag, Le, Yachid. Rami, Le, Yachid, 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 Rami, Le, Yachid
and a mayon is a stream or that also that flows. That goes with whoever fills it up, not with the owner of the stream. So we're talking about water that was gathered, meaning they took the water from the stream and either they dammed it up or they gathered it. Um, and therefore, it no longer has the status of a stream. But in a Hanami, stream water, since it's constantly moving, right? we had said in, in Erevin that water that's moving is not kind of Shvisa anywhere. So since it's not kind of Shvisa, then it has no problem. Otherwise, this is our territory why you're allowed to turn on the sink on Shabbos. Right? You turn on your sink. So maybe the first water that you turn on was in the Trum. Right? But by the time the end of Shabbos comes, that water came from way out of the tub, right? Or if you're flushing, flushing a tour, when you turn on the sink, the water going out is going to cause it to go out of the tub, which we weren't sure that was a kasha, but we use this as a teretz, which is that moving water is not considered, it doesn't, it's not kind of shvisa. So here, with, so the one price that it says um, that it goes with the yachid is when the water stopped moving. So it goes with the owner of the property. And the moving water doesn't. It's all about where it was gathered. Fine. Right. And the oily bubble go with the person who filled it up. Itmar, Right. If you filled it up and you gave it to your friend. Oh, so here you have now we have a lumda shashila. So you filled up the water and then you gave the water to your friend. Now, once you filled up the water, now the water is yours. So does it go with your tchum? Or, and then you hand it over to your friend. And your friend has a different tchum. So does it go with the one who filled it up? Or, do you, does, it, or, or does it go with the end user, I guess, right? Yeah, does it, right? Which one does it go to? So, it goes with the feet of the, 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 the feet of the person who was filled up for. It goes with the one who filled it up. What's the machlaikis? What's the machlek is tali and marsav or bira def keru? Marsav or bira de should be you. One says it's considered a bar. The oile bavel bar is considered hefker. And so since it's considered hefker, so it can go to, uh, is, uh, it goes to, uh, what do you call it? To the, uh, to the person who filled it up. And the one who says it's shutfis, so since it's a shutfis, so I'm just taking the water for you, meaning everybody in the world is a part owner of this well. So when I filled it up, I filled it up for you. Right? You're a part owner. So it doesn't go to me. Again, the one that, the, the shita that says that it goes with the person who actually filled it up is because it's Hefker. When he was kinded from Hefker, it's his, and that's it. Right? And the one that, one that says that it uh, goes with the person who was filled up for is, go, is for Shutfin. So Eisvei Rav Lerav Nachman, Arani Elach Acherem, so if somebody says, there is from me onto you a cherem, so meaning a person's saying that he is not allowed to, he's making a nether that he, that this person is not allowed to get benefit from him. So a murder also, so the one that's made the nether is also, because he's the one that, he said it. If he says, you have onto me, Right, then the neither is also the one that makes the nether is also because he said I'm I'm not allowed to benefit from you. Right, it's amazing. Whatever it is that you say, right? If you say I'm my friend can't benefit from me, so then he can't benefit from you. If you say I can't benefit from my friends, then you can't benefit from him. Right? This is the real friendly fellow. He says I can't benefit from you, and you can't benefit from me. They're both us to each other. Okay, so what's the kasha? Umbatarin, but they're both They're both allowed to use the water from the oily bavel. But they're not allowed to use the water from the municipal water they're not allowed to use. And what's considered part of oily bavel? Harabayis, alishkois, vazarois, ubar shal emza derech, and the bar in the middle of derech. So those are those they can use. And what's considered part of the city? Harachayv, the streets, Ubeis Aknesis, and the shuls. So they're not allowed to use the streets. They're not allowed to go into the shuls because each one they made nether from each other is considered a part owner, right? So they're not allowed to go into the shuls or into the street to base Amerchets, and they can't go to the bathhouse either. The Amrit Bira the Shutvihu. But if you say that at the bar is considered a partnership, I am my mother. Why should that be mother? But not a Shutvin should not do Hanazemizah. 
right, partners that make a nether that they're not benefiting from each other, which unfortunately happens to a lot of, the end of a lot of partnerships, it ends up being that they that they make the dharm against each other, right? So each one of them is not allowed to go into the chata. So again, we're saying, if we're saying the court, the shita that says that it's considered hefker, I'm sorry, the corner of the sheet that says it's it's partnership, the oil above bar is partnership. So then how can these fellows who made a nether against each other use the water from the bar? If it's a partnership, you're not allowed to benefit from it. If it's hefker, so it's no problem, right? Because it's hefker, it doesn't belong to anybody. But if it's partners, then how can they do it? So the answer is, it's, they're talking about washing in the bar. Lirchot's hachanami, meaning Ach takes out that second lirchot's. Lirchot's babar hachanami, to do rechitza in the bar. Now, that's, I mean, I don't know who wants to drink water from this bar that people are doing rechitza in it and drinking from it. Okay, they were different. The hygiene back then was different, right? But he's saying to wash in the bar, that you're not allowed to do. Right? skin lamalis, right? To fill up water. Marmidite kamamale, we're going to say, and he, he's filling it up from his section of the bar. Umar Medidei Kamamale, and he's, we're going to say that he's f- filling it up from his section of the bar. You know where this is headed. Okay, if that, if that, I'm paying attention to the last two days. But the Gemara can't seem to get away from Breira. There's no Breira. There's no Breira. We've got to keep get into Breira. Meaning, again, Breira means that it's retroactive, that it was a decision. Meaning each molecule, is molecule the right word, of water? Each drop of water has a shutfis to each one of them. So Gemara is saying now, that's not true. I mean, it is true that each one has a shutfis, but when one takes water for himself, the other one takes for himself, they're taking their own water. Uh, when did it become their own water? <coughs> Only after they took it. Right? Meaning, till they took it, each drop was belonged to the other one. So how are they nana from it? So you have to say what we call brera. Retroactively, by them taking it now, that means that that decision was previously made that this water belongs to this guy. And the other water belongs to the other guy. And therefore, there's no, and we say Breira. And therefore, each one is not benefiting from each other. So, so that's what we have to say, that this Breira. So the Sovereign Nachman, Yesh Breira. Are you trying to say that Ram Nachman holds that we say this retroactive choice? Again, that you can make a choice now, and that shows retroactively that the choice was made before. But now we learned in the Mishnah, Ha'achim, Ha'shutvin. If you have brothers who are partners, meaning they Yarshin, again, we're going back to Yerusha, Right, two brothers, Yarshin, money from the father. So we had this yesterday or two days ago that they, how do you look at it? Do you look at it like each one splits the money or do we say immediately after death? I, I guess this is Shtikl and Yonah Diyam over here, right? So uh, right after death, each one gets gets their own, meaning are they partners and then they split it or is, are they not partners at all? So Achana Shutfin, so brothers, um, that they became partners in the Yerusha, oh, so if the island remembers what Kolbein was from Shkolin, right? So Kolbein is when you pay the Chatsi Shekel, so because of the exchange rate, they were afraid that Hektish is going to end up losing, right? So because the heck is going to lose, you have to pay a little bit extra. That was that's what Kelvin is. So we said that if a father's paying matzah a shekel for a bunch of kids, he doesn't have to pay a Kelvin for each person because it's coming out of one. It's one exchange, so therefore he just has to do one Kelvin, not for each person, right? But partners, if two partners, then each one would have to pay an extra Kelvin. Now we also know that din by Maisa Behema is that partners do not have to give Maisa Behema. It's a diak in the bus. So basically the two are opposite each other. If you hold that you have to give Kalbain, these brothers that Yarsh, so if they have to do Kalbain, right? So then that means that they are partners, which would mean that they're potter from Maisa Behema. If they're potter from Maisa Behema, if they're chai of Maisa Behema, that means that they're not partners. They consider brothers, and if that's the case, then they only have to give one koban and not not separate kobans. So, meaning the two are opposite of each other. So that's the first thing. This only works if one brother takes goats and the other one takes uh, lambs, right? So then that's that's each one taking their own thing. But if they separate goats from goats. 
and lambs from lambs, Aimer, Zehu Chalke Hamagia Mishari Shanelakah. Then we say that that's his portion because each one they were splitting the exact same thing, meaning if they're splitting different things, so that decision has to be made who's getting the goats, who's getting the lambs. So we look at it like it's a partnership. But if they're splitting each one equally, so we say, right, when the father dies and there's 10 lambs, let's say, each one gets five. Right, and so therefore we don't say this. in Veram Nachman Amar he says no. Afilu Chalku Gedim Kenegid Gedim, but Tlaim Kenegid Tlaim. Even if they do equal split, right? Ain Oimer Zeh Chalku Amagim Mishal Rishon Elchach. We don't say that this okay. is his his uh his his chelik. Right. That's a magia from that. Right. So you see that Reb Nachman clearly does not hold of Brera. Right. Reb Nachman does not hold of of Brera. Right, because each one is its own, it's his own, it's his own chelik. Ella, so you see clearly, Reb Nachman does not hold a brayra. Ella, so one answers the kuliyama bira def keru. So we have to come back with the original. We have to go back with the original kasha, which is that how what's this bar of oile bavel? Is this bar of oile bavel? Is it is it hefker or is it partners? So we were trying to prove that it has to be hefker. So we're saying now the kuliyama bira def keru. We're saying that according to everybody, it's hefker. We're talking about if what's the din if somebody picks up a mitzvah for his friend? That's the machlokes. Meaning, if I'm in the street and I see a lost object and I pick up the money and I give it to my friend, so who gets it? Is it do I get it or does the friend get it? So that that's a that is a, so that we pass in that the friend does not get it. The mitzvah belongs to me, but. Um, Right, so, so did I say that right? Um, yes, yeah, so right. Yeah, the, for sure, everybody agrees that when I pick up a bitsi in the street, the, the recipient doesn't get it. The shyless, do I get it? Meaning, I picked it up for my friend. So he for sure doesn't get it. The question is, do I get it? Or maybe when I was kind of, I had it in mind for him. That doesn't work. So it means I don't get it either. Meaning, it gets to the beginning of a bitsi where, where you have people fighting over a, a, a lost object. Right, and somebody found it, and he had in mind to pick it up for his friend. So his friend doesn't get it. So then the other guy comes and grabs it and says, "Well, you didn't take it either, because when you picked it up, you didn't pick it up for yourself. You picked it up for your friends. So it doesn't work for your friends. It doesn't work for you." So Mars of Arkana, one holds you are kind of right. So since he uh, since he holds that you kind it, so therefore the water goes according to his tum. Of the one who filled it up, Umar Savar Loikana, and the other one, the other sheet that holds that he's not kinda. Right? And therefore, if he's not kinda, so who's kinda? The guy picks the water up on behalf of his friend. So who's kinda? His friend is not kinda because we're saying um, you can't pick something up for somebody else. He himself was saying is not kinda either. So who's kinda? Nobody. So it's hefker. So Amela, since it's hefker, when does it lose its hefker status? When the recipient picks it up and takes it for himself, in which case the tchum goes with him. So the bottom line is, is that when Oile Bavel, when somebody picks up the water and he sends it out, that's only that's um, the shita that says that it goes with the, the feet of the recipient. That's because he holds that it's completely hefker until until he takes it. And Mamela, it becomes, it, it goes with his feet. Okay, that's all for tonight. Fine, I'm sorry for all the little disturbances here. Um, Tomorrow night we finish Bez's Hashem, and then uh, yeah, and then we start Rosh Hashanah. We've got to try and recruit, you know, for five. You get five mesechtas in the next five months, Bez's Hashem, right? So uh, not not hard mesechtas either. Better, yeah, fine. All right, a good tvoch. A good tvoch. Good tvoch. Good tvoch. Yeah.